I'm going to quickly show you how to digitize a drainable area in Site3D. So we have our drainable area toolbar and we can click create new one. So I'm going to use some snaps and I'm going to use these to help me digitize a drainable area around a house pad. So if I right click and hit finish, once I've done that one, I can then assign it to a pipe. So now we can see that we have a drainable area, which has got the area annotated inside it, with the pipe that it's assigned to annotated next to it as well. So you can see this one is assigning to this pipe here. So we can put multiple of uh, these on. So if I draw another one around a uh, slightly different shaped house, right click, hit finish, and assign it into a different pipe. So now if I put on a third one, we can see that we can assign multiple drainable areas into a single pipe. So now we have two into 1.006. So if I um, put on our drainable area table and we put it on the side of the drawing here, you can see that we now have two pipes which have drainable areas put in. They are all in the private um, because they default to private. We can change that in the properties I'll show in a second. We have the total um, impermeable area here as well. So this is the um, combination of the doppelable and private. So if I wanted to create a, uh, a, an adoptable one, I can put it inside the road here. I'll draw that one on. I'll use the snap to any point on the line and I'll just uh, digitize it along the, um, the road like this. This would be effectively the uh, drainable areas for our gullies. If I right click and hit finish like I've done before and assign it into, uh, in this case, the same pipe as before. So we now have three drainable areas. I can then go to my uh, drainable area properties, select that one and choose I want it to be adoptable. And if I want to, I can also even change the color to make it more obvious that it's different from the uh, private ones there. So click OK on that one. And now we have our blue drainable area assigned in as well. And we have a look at the dynamic table. You can see we now have the adoptable area put in for that pipe as well. If I go to the pipe properties very quickly and select that pipe, you can see that it actually shows the total in that pipe as well. It's grayed off so that uh, you can't edit it because you have manually as, uh, drawn them on rather than typed it in. Okay, thank you.